Hey everybody! Today we're going to explore a hot new place. It's called Parrish, Florida. You might not have heard about it. It's slightly east of Bradenton and south of Tampa. It's on the way up. Thousands of families will be living here soon. Lots of construction, lots of new places to work. Let's see what Parrish is all about today. Not a lot going on in downtown Parrish. There's a small little outdoor restaurant serving Mexican food, a little restaurant, nightclub, and a train museum. The heart of Parrish for many years has been TJ's Sandwich Store, serving more subs over 33 years than you can imagine. There are a lot of churches here, some historic homes, but the real action is just north of us. In the North River Ranch area, soon there will be thousands of new homes and families moving to this area. Let's find out what's happening at North River Ranch and if it's a good thing or not. And look at that bridge. This tells you about the strategic importance in the future of Parrish. That bridge now connects Parrish to Lakewood Ranch, Sarasota, and Bradenton proper. And here's the Detweiler's Farm Market in the Parrish Ellington area. Everyone comes here to get the fresh produce and groceries. Now we're going to take a detour and we're going to Fort Hammer County Park. The park has picnic facilities and is operated by Manatee County. And now you're looking at the Manatee River here. Directly across the street, it's one of the more lush neighborhoods in the parish area called the Islands. Now we're passing the YMCA of Parish. Another smaller church here. And here's the Parish Methodist United Church. And look at that huge school being built here in Parish. This is definitely the future. And here's a new Catholic church now. Now you can see a typical neighborhood here in Parish. It's called Normandy by Pulte Homes. Affordable, quiet, nature, good neighbors. This is why people come to Parish in Ellington. And the shopping's really fabulous in Ellington and Parish, right here in the Ellington Mall. Here at I-75 and 301. Lots of designer stores, discount shops, and restaurants. And Medallion Homes, one of the best builders in the area, has four model homes here in Cross Creek, a new neighborhood here in Parish. And here we are on a controversial site here in Ellington. It's a Gamble Plantation. It has a lot of history. At one time, Gamble Plantation was a sugar plantation. Obviously, there's a lot of controversy due to its Confederate roots, though. See, regarding Confederate sites, please know, Secretary of State Judah Benjamin is rumored to have hit out here during the final days of the Civil War. Look at the beautiful pool deck here they have. Yeah, at Woody's. Gorgeous sunny day, people at the bar, drink specials. Soon they have a little music. What about those tables down there? And here's another testament of all the good things happening in Ellington and Parish. Look at that big out parcel being developed by Benderson Development. I think it's either going to be an industrial park, theaters, or shopping. There's a booth here. Okay, and for you? I'm gonna go with your three pancakes. Okay. Unsweet and icy. And here's the site of Erasmus Rye. He was one of the founders of the area and he created the Rye Homestead. He ended up in this area here in the mid 1800s. And this is the beautiful swimming pool area here at Rivers Reach. Now the Neal family has banked a lot of land in the parish. They hope to change the name of the community someday, I believe, to North River Ranch or North River, Florida. They're not a huge fan of the name parish because the parish family created by Crawford Parish years and years ago owned some slaves. A sleepy little parish is being transformed into an area full of construction, new jobs, Look at all the families that will be living here someday. 
And look at all these homes under construction here in Silver Leaf in the parish area. And this is where our parish has their edge. Look at all these starter homes in the area called Silver Leaf built by Neal Communities. Lots of landscaping, front porches for our community feature. There's even a pool and a clubhouse. And this is the future. Look at all these developed lots waiting for families to build their dream homes. And look at the new model center here at Silverleaf. Let's look at some of these models and see what you get for between 200 and 400 grand. And this would be a typical home in the new parish North River area by Neil Homes. This model is called the Applause, about 2,000 square feet. Modern kitchen, beautiful outdoor patio, and look at this beautiful living room. And Public Supermarket usually knows a winning location. And here's a new public store that's been built to serve Parish and the soon to be built North River Ranch area. Beautiful sunny day in the Parish area. We just passed Fort Hammer Road. You can see four lanes. We're heading northeast on 301. Now this is sleepy little parish. Soon this town is going to be changed. Does anyone here see any Applebee's? Do you see a Wendy's? Do you see a McDonald's? No. You see a lot of old churches, some small gas stations, and a couple country stores. That there is a cataclysm coming between traditional old parish and the future. And this is the parish supermarket. That's what the people had before the Publix that we just went to. Now we're continuing due north on 301. This gives you a good vantage point. Tampa is 34. Now here's gate 10 of what will soon probably be part of North River, Florida. You can see it says no traffic, but we want to take a look what's being built here. You see that sign here? They're getting ready to Bella Lago. It's a new community by DR Horton Homes. And now this is some of the first site work in the North River Ranch area. I believe this is gonna be development for Bella Lago. You can see they're doing the excavation in the land. Not much here, you're in the middle of nowhere. Soon close to a thousand homes will be built on the site. A lot more homes are in the plans too, Amazon, and also North River Ranch by Neal Community. Gee, where is North River Ranch or Amazon? And what's happening to Little Parish? They're getting ready to build 20,000 homes in this general area. In case you're really curious, the road known as Buckeye Road in 301 is where the, all the action's gonna be. Here we are in 301, just south of Buckeye Road. Now we'll zoom in, that intersection, I'm estimating about a quarter, maybe half a mile up ahead, is Buckeye Road. So picture it, someday you're gonna have a Wawa, you're gonna have a Publix, you're gonna have Applebee's, you're gonna have Wendy's, McDonald's, you name it. There's gonna be a Hampton Inn. There's gonna be shopping centers here to support the 20,000 more, more homes that can be built. And here's the number one tourist attraction in the parish area. It's the Florida Railroad Museum. On the weekends, there's about a six mile train tour. And for $14, you can take a train ride for an hour and a half ride to learn the history of trains in the parish area. And this local gem is PJ's Sandwich Store. They've been feeding this general area for more than 33 years. I think they're about ready to expand that once they build 20,000 more homes in this area. Let's see what goes on at the PJ's Sandwich Store. And trust me, 20 years from now, gate seven won't look like gate seven. There will be thousands of homes in this area presumed to be called North River Ranch. Remember when Lakewood Ranch was just raw land like this? Now there's a huge mall, tons of shopping, churches, synagogues, you name it. This is what's gonna happen to Little Parish, except they might change the name to North River Ranch, Florida someday. I don't know, what do you think?